We call it pastrami sandwiching. When two drunk people are making out at a bar, because it's like they're trying to eat the same pastrami sandwich, but they can't really do it. Make me what whatever you want. Every bartender, no matter wherever they are, hates that. If you come up to the bar, especially on a busy night, and you don't know what you want, and you don't have money out, fuck you. Like, and don't say, just give me whatever you like. Or, you know, make me something fun. No. I don't have time to make up your mind for you. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to make you what you want, so you gotta tell me. Everybody hates that, hands down. There's nobody in the world who's like, yay. Let me create a cocktail for you. I mean, Long Island iced teas. People still order those. And it's like, it's so disgusting. Like, you're also, you, every bar will charge you extra just because you're an asshole ordering a Long Island iced tea. And then you're basically drinking a pint glass of like five different well liquors, which are like the cheapest bottom of the barrel booze you can get. People wonder why they have hangovers, like really bad hangovers. Like you drink basically the cheapest rock up booze you possibly could. I was working with a new coworker. He had just started and you know, we had a Saturday night shift together. And it was maybe like his second second week in and he had a lot of shit to learn. Uh so much so that he so he poured four car bombs at last call for a group of very drunk people. And I just sort of like stood back and watched because, you know, car bombs, you kind of drink as fast as you possibly can. And then you kind of slam the, the glass back down. And then he, and like the idiot that he was at the time, just stood in front of them. And immediately the girl just projectile vomited all over him. And he was like, what the fuck? And I was like, you did that to yourself, brother. I actually, um, I got punched in the face once uh, breaking up a fight. I mean, it wasn't really a fight at that point. This guy was like stomping out this guy's head on the floor. He was totally knocked out. And I was actually wearing my most favorite pair of glasses at the time. And they broke in half. And so that really pissed me off. He was arrested shortly after. Alcohol you know, takes the edge off of so many things. So you can have someone who's like going into a rage over a pool game one minute and then, you know, you kind of talk them off that ledge and they're crying, telling you about their mom's sick in the hospital the next minute. Like, all guards are way down. You know, I would say the average regular customer you have is a man and they can sort of confide things into you that they don't, you know, they, they know, A, you probably don't know all their friends and family, and B, you kind of just listen and maybe offer some advice, but it's sort of just like a, a sounding board. But you also have to kind of like that person. If you don't like that person, it's like, fuck you. More common than not, people, uh, men will sort of confess, the, um, homosexual experiences or dalliances that they have tried or kind of want to try, which, you know, to me doesn't really, I could care less, but it seems like it's like a huge weight off their shoulders when they tell, tell someone that, I don't know. Oh yeah, like seriously, if I really, if I'm not the slightest bit interested in what you're saying, there's a switch in my brain and it, everything goes off. <laughs> like I, I'm, it looks like I'm listening to you or maybe I'm making some sort of noises, but I don't, after so many years of doing it, like it's really easy to just turn, turn the volume off on people.